Now to import the data science libraries we need, type import, then the library name, then optionally write as, then a simplified abbreviation so that it is easier typing in subsequent codes, followed by the abbreviation. We normally import the pandas as pd and numpy as np and import them together as they run off of each other. Pandas library helps organize and analyze data tables and numpy helps with numerical calculations for large amounts of data. However, all you need to remember when searching online for codes that help you complete data science tasks is to recognize that if the code includes np and, and or pd, you need first to import pandas as np and numpy as np so that your code will run. This code uploads a CSV file from your computer into Google Colab. It runs off of the pandas library, but we already loaded pandas in the previous cell. When you click run, click the choose, but, uh, choose file button that comes up and choose what file you want from your computer. Ensure in line 8, you write the exact name of your CSV file. In line 8, we're creating a short variable name for our data set and setting it equal to the pandas read CSV function that reads the file name we uploaded. Now, So now whenever we want to refer to the data set in a code, all we need to write is df. Include a list variable that specifies all of the column names in the data set. We use the name of the variable we created for the data set, df, then attach the dot columns function, then after the equal sign, type in all of the column names. Line 4 is optional, but it shows how you can apply one of the capitalization functions in the string library to an actual example. Line 6 uses our data set variable name again, df, with the dot head function attached to it so we can specify how many rows of the data set to print to the screen. You could also enclose df within the print function, but then Google Colab would cut off some of the columns. So hit run and there, there's the result. You see all of the column names capitalized, so for the rest of the codes now, ensure that you capitalize the column names as Python is case sensitive. When you attach the dot describe function onto the df variable, it calculates the statistics for the data. It counts how many rows in the data set, calculates the mean of each column, the standard deviation of each column, the min and max values in each column, and so on. Note, it can only do this for the columns containing num numerical values, so that's why you don't see anything for the final personality column.